I told you my standards. I told you what I'm looking for the night that we met. Because that's the conversation we had, right? You knew what I wanted. Why in the world would you continue or, like, try to pursue if that's not what you was on? Like... So I had a date with this guy yesterday, and an hour before the date, we were on the phone, cool, fine, little problems. I want to say about maybe like an hour later, an hour before the date, like right before the date, right before it's time to pick me up, he texts me, he's like, oh, he can't make it today. Something came up. I was like, okay, cool, fine, cool. So then I'm like, are you okay? He doesn't respond like the whole day. So then later on he calls me. He's like, oh, I just can't do this right now. I'm emotionally unavailable. Da da this, da da da. But I'm like, you literally met me a week ago. You asked to take me out. You asked, you gave me your number. I told you my standards. I told you what I'm looking for the night that we met. Because that's the conversation we had, right? You knew what I wanted. Why in the world would you continue or, like, try to pursue if that's not what you was on? Like, like I do appreciate the honesty because I would have hated for this to come out months from now. But, man, oh, man, pissed me off. And then when I'm like, okay, where do we stand? Like, what do you want to do? Like, we could be friends. We've never gotten into anything. We never did anything. So it's like, I feel like it's, it would be easy for us to be friends. He's like, no, I don't want to be your friend. I do want something with you. And I'm like, no, because now you're gaslighting me. And that's what I'm not going to be. I'm. That's what I'm not. I'm not here for it. I don't know. I just feel like at the end of the day, he might have felt like you weren't worth those high expectations that you said you had. Now, I'm not the type of person to tell no matter what the expectations should be. I'm just the type of person to tell you that your expectations should be realistic. Now, with the way that the dating market is and how social media has pretty much gassed women up these days, I'm almost certain that your expectations were unreasonable. Be it as it may, I think he did the right thing. Now, I probably wouldn't have waited to an hour before i took you out but hey it is what it is an hour is better than not showing up at all and you're not hearing anything also if you say you appreciate his honesty then you shouldn't be mad this video shouldn't even be occurring if you say you appreciate his honesty so obviously you don't appreciate honesty and, and that's the thing that us men always say about women women don't like honesty now as far as gaslighting i hate that term i honestly really I don't know if I even know what that means because people use it so many different ways. But him saying that he doesn't want a friendship with you, but he still might want to have something else with you. He just probably want to still smash. Like, we can fuck around. But at the end of the day, too, all this probably occurred because the other chick probably panned out for him. He probably weighed his options, just like you women do. He can get further with this girl who doesn't expect as much as you do over here. Or if I'm going to adhere to the requirements of a high expectation person, at least you should be looking better. That's my thing. If I'm going to deal with a woman with high expectations, she better look top tier. She better be worth me going through hoops for. Now, knowing me, I'm not going through all those hoops. I have my own program. Either you with it or you're not. I don't jump through hoops. I'm all for courting, but I like mutual courting. So if I'm being honest, that guy must not really have been into you. And that's okay. We all have the right to be into or not be into whoever. We all have the right to preference. We all have the right for our standards to be high or low, whatever the case may be. But it's better that I don't waste your time and definitely not waste my time committing to something that I really don't want to be a part of or committing to something that I don't feel is worth the work. I'm not saying her standards should be low. I really would like for her to expound on what she actually expects from a man. And then that gives men the option of, does this sound like something I'm into? Something I can keep up? If not... Let me not waste your time. It doesn't matter who gave who number first. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we both gave it time to a point where we was going to set up a date and we did. We just didn't go through with it. And see, she tried to get you with that. Well, you gave me your number. I called you as if like he 
wasted her time but then you go to say that you respect the honesty because he doesn't want to waste your time you would never know what you know if you didn't attempt to try something so what it was he attempted to get to know you by giving you his number you called you guys talk it sounds good enough to set up a date but then he probably thought about it like you know what now that i think about it nah i'm good and that's in his right to do women do it every day so what makes it right for a woman to do it but a man can't do it and let me be honest we already know that that women do not like rejection so imagine how it feels when a man friend zones a woman 